All right, so let's take let's talk about JRL. Let's talk about this JRL Fresh Fade 1040, I believe, 1040. I've been using them for about a, over a week now, um, on probably like 10 haircuts. And I gotta tell you, for some reason, and me and Shannon S Craft Blends were talking about this the other night. I get excited to get to work and and cut with these, and it's for a few things. It's because they're so different, right? I knock these at first. I like I. You guys know I just don't do the clicky thing. I don't like the clicky thing. I, I I've always said it, and I've used I've used clippers like this with the switch here, just to not like them. But these, for some reason, they cut different. They feel different. They feel premium, and um, I actually enjoy using these. Now, I'm gonna give you a totally unbiased review. I'm gonna tell you the pros, the cons of using this. Even though JRL did send me this clipper, which I appreciate, um, usually I like to buy, pay for them myself so that I don't feel bad if, if I say something negative about them. But I think that at least what I get from a lot of the clipper companies these days is they're trying to figure it out. They really want, they want genuine responses, the good, the bad, the ugly, and um, they're trying to grow. Lately, like that, I don't know if you guys have noticed Babylus, they're just like the whole Barbarology they're really trying to bring things up a notch and focus on barbering because they see they see a, a prominent marketplace um, evolving in the beauty industry with barbers. So companies are really investing. Now you got Coolest Clippers coming out left and right. You got limited editions. You got like people there. There when when Clippers used to be just regular, dull, and ugly. Like I'm sorry, but the the Oster 76s, them things were ugly and maroon. The the Oster Fastfeeds, all you could get before was an ugly maroon color, right? Now they got them in all kinds of different colors and designs, and they're trying to attract the barber. They're trying to give barbers what they want. And here's the thing: as barbers, you have different barbers. You have barbers who are like old, stuck in their ways. Ah, oh, all that fancy smancy stuff. Just give me the, the, the basics. The, the best clippers were the ones made 50 years ago. You know what I'm talking about, right? And then you got barbers who are just like, yo, I'm buying everything. 50 different clippers on their station. And then you got barbers who genuinely, they just want a better working product. And, um, you know, I still think there's a place for all that because you can't tell me the Oster Octanes, I don't care how old you are, I don't care how long you've been in the industry, you can't tell me the Oster Octanes ain't fire, like fire. But anyways, with that being said, let's go back to focusing on these clippers. So, here's what I'm gonna tell you guys. It's not gonna be for everybody, right? They're small. They're light, but they feel premium, okay? Now, some people are not gonna like this. Some people are not gonna like the ergonomics. Some people love the senior ergonomics so much, they won't even touch masters or anything else, right? They feel like a robot in your hand. Like, I like that sound. There's something about that sound. I don't know why I like it. Okay, so a few things that I learned about it was there's a there's something here that it'll say like burden. Okay, so see how so I just started to stop my hold on. Let me redo that. All right, so you see how it's full green RPM. I got it at full speed. If I start touching this, you see the speed starts. The speed automatically goes all the way back up. Do you guys see that? All right, so right now it's at three. Okay, doesn't need to be at full full speed right now because it doesn't feel any hair being cut. You're just wasting battery. So it's automatically puts right now it's in think automatic transmission, not manual, right? Now, um, since it's not cutting anything, it's not turning the speed up. But once I put some pressure on here, look how the speed jumped up right away. Boom. It's telling itself that it needs more power. So that it does it's it feels like it's starting to bog down, so it automatically puts up the RPM, to me that's insane. That's where we're going with Clippers these days. That's where we're going, like, the type of technology that are getting put into Clippers is insane to me. Like, I feel like if this Clipper had a lever, it'd be the ultimate Clipper, in my opinion. It's missing a few things that I would add, and I'm not gonna give out my secrets. I'm not gonna give out my tips to these Clipper companies so they can make money off my ideas. I'm just kidding, but. <laughs> There's a few th other things I'd add to this, but yo, this with a lever would be crazy. Now, that's one of the pros. Another cool thing is, um, obviously, there's speeds. You have low, you have medium, but honestly, I just keep it on on the, the top mode and let it do its thing. It automatically lowers itself. When it bogs, it puts more RPM up. 
The battery on this thing is one of the pros. It's like, I don't have to charge this thing. I feel like I don't have to charge it throughout an entire day. If I do, it'll be like at the very end of the day. But the dock is so easy to just put on. If you guys saw the unboxing, I literally just lay it on there and it starts to charge. You don't have to like push it in or anything like that, which is pretty cool. You just pretty much boom, boom, and it's 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 good to go. Um, so that's another thing, another pro. Um, the blade is super sharp, cuts really, really nice and smooth. This is the fade blade. They also have the taper blade. Um, right now I'm using the fade blade. It snatches skin every once in a while. Not as much as like your fade blade on the uh, Magic Clips or the Seniors. And definitely not as much as the ones on the Masters. But this one snags just a little bit. So I can rock with it. I just can't move as quick as I want to. For that reason, I'd probably stick with the taper. Um, the taper blade a little bit more. But if you set these right, like Shannon set these for me, S-Craft Blend set, set these for me, I cut like super close. And then I just go straight to my shaver. I don't even have to use um, trimmers in between the cut. So, yeah. Um, as far as this right here, the forced air cooling system, that's a gimmick, I think. I don't think there's a fan in there. I think it's just open so that air can get in. I could be wrong. I don't know. Gerald, don't kill me for being wrong. Okay, now... Like, those are a bunch of the, the pros, again, cut dope clipper, but here's the cons. And here's why JRL is going to have a lot of issues um, winning more of the marketplace. It's a whole new system, I feel like. Like, I'm sorry, but you can't tell me that the, the half guard on this is the same as the half guard on the wall. I don't even feel like the, the blade open definitely isn't. It doesn't open as much as, as your typical clipper. So it says 1.9 millimeters. I know my seniors open up to three millimeters. So it opens up a lot less, which changes everything, changes your whole face system because now your number one guard open isn't the same thing as your number one guard open on your seniors or your masters or your fast speeds or every other clipper that's out there, right? So that's problematic. And, and so I can see when someone is new to JRL and they try to use it, it's it's gonna be then your initial thoughts are gonna be like oh these cut nice they're cool but man I'm not understanding this fade how to fade with these because it's but my 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 old system just isn't working with these so I literally had to learn you know through a few haircuts and and talking to the the guys in JRL team shout to Squeak Pro Barber who gave me tips on uh, their system on how to fade and um, that's how I started to hold on a second guys my daughter what baby oh, oh I love you. Um, but that's how I started to learn the system and started to like it more. That's going to be an issue. Anytime you got to educate people on a product and to, to get them to, to actually want to try it out, that's an issue. And before I forget, the lever, the switchy thing, still haven't gotten used to it. Like, opening it is not a problem. It locks. Like, it, it's not going to open and close by itself like some other switch clippers do. But I still haven't gotten used to it, to be honest with you. The good thing is with my system, the way I cut hair, I don't use, I don't open, I don't use like quarter of the way open lever, three quarters of the way open lever too often. I'm pretty much opening and closing all the way anyways. So it's not that big of an issue for me. But if you use, if you play, if you use a lot of lever play, I haven't gotten used to it. It's been over a week. I don't know. What I would tell you guys is don't knock it unless you try it. Borrow it from somebody. I'm not gonna tell you to spend $120 on these. I, I don't know the exact price, but I'm not gonna tell you to spend the money on it. I will tell you to try it though. Try it. And if you got it like that, buy one. And you know what I'm saying? You could sell it to somebody else used later on if you want to. But try it out. I like it. Um, I don't know right now if it's gonna make my daily driver. Um, right now, the Babyliss, the Gold FX is my daily driver. And Babyliss is coming out with a lot of new blades and stuff that, that they've been sending me and a lot of new products. So um, I'm excited about that stuff. Can't share with you guys all that information. But what I can tell you is that's exciting stuff. So, you know, everybody's kind of improving their products. And only time will tell, you know, what's going to end up being that go-to that most people will go to. Um, for me, right now, I'm still driving this. I'm still playing with it. But I think, I think some subconsciously, I'm gonna start to learn what I'm grabbing, you know, 
the most. So you know how it is. You'll be cutting in the shop and it's a busy day and all you're doing is grabbing what's most familiar or what you feel mo most comfortable with. You don't even realize it. Damn, I say I like this clipper better, but I've been grabbing this one nine out of 10 haircuts. Yeah, you can convince yourself you like that other clipper more, but if you're going nine out of 10 grabbing that other clipper, then that's the clipper you like, right? So we'll see if this is truly my new daily driver or if I'm sticking with the Gold FX, Babyless Gold FX, or if I just say the hell with all of them and go back to the cordless seniors. And then the masters come out, I don't know. But what I could tell you is I'm okay with spending the money. And the reason why is like, guys, this is our profession. This is our job. I see people get so stagnant. I see people lose passion because they just use the same clipper for the for the next 10 years. Or they use the same tools and they don't they don't grow. You start to get stagnant and you don't even realize you're starting to lose passion for it until it's too late. Like you gotta keep your fire going. And I, to me, this is like a new pair of sneakers. Like I'm excited when I get a new clipper and it, it gets me excited to go to work the next day and try them out. Like that's important, man. And it's also cool because your clients, like when my clients saw me using these, when my clients saw me using the Gold FX, they're always like, is that the new, is that the latest and greatest? What is that? Like they're asking me about my products because they notice I'm constantly investing in my tools. And if you think about it, this is three or four haircuts. Three or four haircuts. If you buy one clipper a month, is that really like, is that really that big of a deal? Or one clipper a quarter, or one clipper every six months, or one a year. I don't understand why barbers knock other barbers for buying tools and investing in their craft. You know, what's, what's, What's great for you might not be great for the next man. And it might be just that change of a tool that makes a barber five minutes faster every haircut. I'm sorry, but that 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 clipper just paid for itself by you saving that time. It saved it it it, it paid for itself. In like a couple weeks it's gonna pay for itself. So um don't be closed-minded guys. Stay up with technology, keep growing. Love you guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you got any questions, comment below, smash the like button, all that good stuff. Let me know anything um, new that you want me to talk about, that you want me to review, and uh, we'll do it.